Smyrna Airport to the right. So we're going to talk about this airport right here in just a moment. Stay tuned. I saw an airplane crashed into that fence right there one day. So friends, you see it right there. It says Smyrna Airport Terminal. This is the Smyrna Airport. This has some significance for Elvis for a couple of different reasons. One thing is, after the Lisa Marie was built, this is where the Lisa Marie was brought to, according to co-pilot Ron, for the inspections to be done. This is also the place that they flew into for Elvis to do concerts in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. So we're going to leave here and drive to the hotel that they stayed in, and then we will go to the Murphy Center as well, where Elvis played. So friends, this is Ron Strauss, the co-pilot's logbook. I was lucky enough to get pictures of all the pages he allowed me to. And right here you see SMY, that is Smyrna. So it was Memphis to Smyrna. This was April the 18th, 1976. And if you look to the right, you see it says V1 cut, three engines. They had one engine out evidently, so they flew there for maintenance in Smyrna. So basically that's where they would get the Lisa Marie worked on. They took it there and got it repaired. And then on this same sheet, if you look, it says fly over Graceland, which was the smaller plane, and then fly over Nashville, which which was the Lisa Marie. On January the 20th, 1976, Elvis was supposed to come here to Buzz Kaysen's creative workshop and record with the TCB band. They were already there. This right here shows to start taping. He didn't actually show up until the 21st and look, never did start. It also says ferry for maintenance and check ride. You see that in Smyrna. And it says that he as an observer, which is Ron, check ride for captain. So basically it was training and checking out the Lisa Marie, the Smyrna airport as well. So you can see the airport right here and we've got to turn around, go the other way, but I'm going to hit this and we'll see how long it will be. We want we want to go to there. It says it's 22 minutes or 19 miles. So we're going to drive there. Stay tuned. So we know that he did not go out and get on I-24. He got on Murfreesboro Road. And the reason I know that is we have eyewitnesses to that fact that he actually stopped and pulled off the side of the road in the limousine down here. And I'll show you approximately where that happened at. According to eyewitnesses, the limo pulled off to the side of the road up here on the right. There's a restaurant, or used to be a restaurant, that was kind of tiki themed. And I hope it is still up here on the right, but it may not be. But they say that he pulled off by the tiki restaurant and sat there. People followed him from the airport. And I think it is a little ways further up here. I can see the, the sign, it is still there. But they said he pulled off right by this restaurant and they sat on the side of the road for a period of time. And then they continued on. And they said it was just beyond this restaurant right here that's called the Omni Hut now. So they pulled off somewhere along in here and sat for a few minutes and then continued on. This is the Ramada by Wyndham. This is Church Street 
And that's Rutherford Boulevard right there. And Elvis did stay here. There's photos of him here. We're gonna check it out, stay tuned. And there is a photo of him coming out a door with a staircase above it. Let's see if we can find it. Would imagine that it is right here. Stay tuned. So the photo is of Elvis coming out that door and getting in a limo right here. When you can see these two posts in the door. So we're gonna go in and take a look. Stay tuned. Right here. And this used to be brick, you'll see in the photo, but it's now drive it, which looks like stuck up. So there's the photo right there, and you can see Dick Grove standing just on the other side of these poles. You see the poles are there, and Dick is standing literally right here. He's standing this way, looking like this, and Elvis is stepping out right here. You see Esposito there, you see Sonny. And that is Elvis Presley, right here. Yeah, right there. This is the way it looks today. Eight. It's May 1974. There's a big photo of it. Wide shot. And of course I said it was brick before and it's still there. They just put stucco over the top of it. So here we go, friends. And I recommend, by the way, you stay here if you come to the Just Pretend Mansion thing at the end of this month. So here's a set of stairs here. And that may be the only set. So there's no elevators in this hotel. So we're gonna go up here. And so you've gotta have it secure. Lift handle. You gotta read the directions, Billy. So according to the paperwork, Elva stayed in this room. It's unusual to see a closet like this. I guess it's not, but the closet's usually not here. It's usually here or here in the bathroom. So Elvis stayed here in 1974 in this room. The room's cool. See how he would have gotten to those stairs back there. Stay tuned. I love this. Say hello to sleeping like a rock star. That could not be more appropriate. So 
this is 208. So now we're going to find out how they got out of here. And that door looks like it could be from that vintage. You can see where the number used to be there. Yeah. Alright, so from here, that's where he went out. At the very far end down there, I'm going to zoom for just a second. At the bottom floor there is where he went out. Got that door where the picture had. So let's see if there's a set of stairs down here. I'm sure there is in this middle hallway. Now, the only stairs that are down there is through that door and down, but I don't think they wanted to do that. So he would have gone down one of these two staircases and through the hallway. My inclination was to go left. came right through that door down there and out of this building. Have you ever seen so many doors? Look. What could be in each one of those? So he came through this door right here and out. Jumped in the car, off to Murphy Center. He could have come down there, but I think they were trying to hustle him. And so they definitely came through this door because it's open in the photograph. In all likelihood, he never saw any of this. because he was usually brought in the back, whisked through, and that's it. They were very nice to let us see. Y'all stay here. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. So there you have it, friends. If you come here to Murfreesboro, make sure that you stay at the Ramada Inn Wyndham. This right here, is the information. It is 1855 South Church Street, Murfreesboro. The phone number is 615-896-5080 and make sure you search for or book room 208. If you don't, book one near and maybe the people staying there will let you see. So now we're going to go to the Murphy Center. You see it says six minutes. So let's go take off. Proceed to South Church Street, then turn right. So I'm going to go around the building and we'll make the turn from there. Stay tuned. So he came out of this door right here and got in the limo. Then they would have come around here and they would have gone to the right. Turn right, then turn right onto South Church Street. So we're going to do the same thing. They would have turned right in here. Gone down in here and gone right through that door right there. Yep.
out and the stage will be right there. It's vantage point. Would have been something like this right here. Yeah. Those right there would have been really good seats. So there you have it, friends. Elvis played here. Yes, he did. And then the, the dressing room would have been back here, but I don't think he would have gone that way. I think they would have gone this way because it was straight to the car. Because he wouldn't have needed to go back to the dressing room. You know, he leaves the building instantly. So it would have been right back here. the limo waiting right there and out and that would have been a really hard job backing up by the way because he had to back out and avoid that wall right there maybe back around and then go that way but there you go and back out to the street. Fellas, how did you think this, this concert went? E, it was fantastic, buddy. You did a great job, as always. Yeah, I, I thought it went all right. Yeah. A lot of fun. Murphy Center, friends, MTSU, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Just another little piece of that Elvis puzzle. And if you're new to this channel, Adventures of the Spy Guy, I have more than 600 Elvis videos. And don't forget to check out my sidekick, Globe Trotting with Trey. He has over 150. And we both focus on true Elvis stories and what really happened. So if you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.